right, then I think we'll make our way to the camp. Wait, what? Go to the Viridium Mine? Oh yeah, a Freeman target named Sister Costeau, who was last stationed at the Viridium Mine. Sister Costeau. That's... Isn't that Fairbank's mentor? Wait, isn't she dead? Or am I mixing up the names here? Could very be. Could very well be. Oh dear lord, we can't we can't get out of here. Alright. <laughs> I guess the camp can wait because we have no way to climb that mountain. Alright. Oh, the map doesn't show though. Alright then. I suppose maybe I can go north? No, it's... this is a dead end. Right. Okay, I can go this way. Elf root. Peace wood. Oh, look at the rabbits. So cute. So peaceful here. But can I now go to the camp to the west now? Oh, we should close this rift first. Whoa! Goodness. Oh, goodness. Yeah, this map is far easier than the other one. We should have done this first. Silver Falls. No elven treasure was hidden beneath the falls. That ridiculous tale lost me six soldiers. If I find a man who started a rumor, I'll kill him myself. Um... Are you sure? <laughs> I mean, it's a video game and usually there's a treasure behind a waterfall. Should we... should we go check? I'm gonna regret this, won't I? There's nothing here, right? 
Might be something here. Better take a closer look. Okay, it's just a bottle. Ever right. All right, I'll take that. It's not terribly exciting. No elven treasure. Now, to the camp. Didn't Scout Harding say that there are a lot of enemies in these woods? Human and non-human alike? I honestly expected like giant spiders or something like that. Or I don't know, bears at least. Or wolves. But so far it's really peaceful out here. More elven ruins. The wolf. <laughs> so we can do this geological survey. Interest you, sir. What is it? You may want to look into this. I need pyrophyte again. All right. So, what do we want to do? Maybe we can do this quest first because get the smuggle smuggler letter out of the way because it's simply very remote and I don't think we're gonna we, we have to go there again. Is that another rift? Just closed one rift and here's another. Holy crap. Oh, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Calm down. Hello. Whoa, that pride demon. Didn't expect that. Ooh, Cassandra. Take one bottle. Oh, ouch! Holy crap! Whoa! Camera!
the pride demon is gone. Here we go, close it. Oh hey, my mark is ready. Should I just kill one of the rabbits so I get the codex entry? Uh, but they look so cute, I don't want to kill them. Hey, there are buildings here. Argon's Lodge. Barred from the other side. Argon? Is that a name we've heard before? God damn it. Oh hey! Hello. Oh, hey. Nice job, Cassandra. Scribbled nose, get your men out of the roads and hunt down those Inquisition bastards. We're losing the emer Emerald Graves. Have you forgotten what we're fighting for? Everything we do, we do for our future and for our lay. These are free men. Where are they going? Wait, are they fighting each other? Why are they all standing in one spot? That is... What idiots. Whoa! Someone died! How did that happen? Oh, Solas died! I can't believe this. Where's Solas? Come on, you can't not fight. Villa Morales taken. Malifan's gone. We're losing our grip. What now? The men are starting to bulk, talking about giving up. You should give up. You have no chance against us. Everyone okay? Whoa, okay. More enemies. Ah, oh, I can't go in. Holy crap, so many. Only seven potions left. Are we okay? Cassandra!
Chevalier Auguste. That is Auguste. They won't be able to hurt anyone again. When Samson made the steel, we promised you the dales, if you could hold them and keep the roads open for our supplies. Too difficult a concept to grasp, I see. Enough of your fumbling, the Red Templars will deal with this Inquisition, Night Captain Carol. Oh no, we're gonna have to deal with the Red Templars real soon, huh? You're different, Solus. Sharper. You're in both places. Okay. I visit the Fade regularly. Perhaps you are sensing traces of it. You are a spirit who crossed the veil and took human form. Spirit or demon? The two are not so dissimilar, Cole. While the world may exert a pull in one direction or another, the choice is ultimately yours. Interesting viewpoint. Seeing that demons and humans are not that different. Which, I don't know. Do I, agree, do I agree with that? I mean, Solas is the specialist on this topic. So I feel like I can't, you know, disagree with his expert opinion. August, might I remind you that none of us really understand these heathen etchings. We're going as fast as we can. I would add that some of the men are uneasy about the whole thing. You know, the stories of elven curses? This weapon you believe hidden here better be worth it, Gale. Is supposed to be a weapon here? An elven weapon? Really? Nothing in here, folks. What is this? Is this the bathroom? <laughs> Alright, our objective lies somewhere else, though. Some... sleeping area. Alright. Whoa! You startled me. I thought you were the enemy. Where does this lead to? This kind of leads away from the objective, though. Pyrophyte! Oh, this is some elven... Elven statues, but is this an entrance of some sort? No. Just some random statue. Alright. Damn, I'm still missing two pyro fights. The smuggler letter should be around here. Harrow. This forest is quite peaceful. I mean... This was elven territory before, so... According to the tropes... About elves and... You know, living with nature and stuff like that. It shouldn't be too surprising, I guess. I 
Okay, that that would be leaving the area. I'm looking for a letter. Ah. Master Kells, numbers are fantastic, sir. Trade's booming with all this lyrium showing up. Maybe it's red instead of blue, but people are still buying. That mage we picked up can look into what the color means. He needs to start earning his keep. We have more coin on hand, too. No need to pay off some greasy dwarf, since the red stuff isn't from the deep roads. Must be killing them. Someone struck lyrium up here, and they're not getting a piece. Vishlan. A note. Claims this red lyrium's not coming from the deep roads. Where would they be coming from? If not the deep roads. <gasps> what happened here? Torn pages. Nothing to hunt for days. No deer, no hares, nothing. When says we are at least halfway through the forest. He's the only one who's traveled these parts, so we have to take his word. Ugh, Wenek. The minute we get out of here and back to a town, we're ditching the shifty-eyed bastard. It's not just that he is a mage, he's just shifty. He found some herbs, said they would keep the hunger at bay. Shouldn't have listened, but the others thought it was a good idea. What did he call it, Ashvine? Doesn't matter. You can't live off vegetables. Real men need real meat to keep the blood up and the humor circulating. Good thing we decided to rest, feeling dizzy from the lack of proper food. The writing trails off. What? The mage poisoned him, right? Oh, there are bodies everywhere. The mage poisoned them all. But why? Why lead them astray? The red lurium was still there, so he wasn't after the red lurium. Or was he? I don't know. Is this a quest? No new, no new quests popped up, so I guess it's not. All right, let's go. Let's go east then. Whoa. I think last time I completely forgot to look after my ability points. Yeah, I got one point to spend. And especially um, Solas. Eight points to spend. Holy crap. Okay, let's see. I do like revival. So do you have any upgrades? Spirits now protect your allies. Reducing incoming damage and reviving them if they fall unconscious. Mm, life word or desperation. Revival is easier to cast but no longer revives allies permanently. Instead, allies who are already unconscious fight with great power for a few seconds before falling again. What? Why would I want this? Okay, but it's still an active ability, but I can cast them on my allies, so in case they fall, they would be automatically revived. Is that how I understand it? Not really useful, actually. <coughs> oh, sorry about that. Okay. Maybe spend on some something, some passive abilities. Each attack shortens my active cooldown time, sure. Cassandra, yeah, let's spend them on your Templar abilities. 
How about that? Wrath of Heaven does even more damage to demons, leaves enemies stunned longer, or you are healed for each enemy you strike. When this ability is active, I assume. Okay. Let's get this. The party's attacks have a chance of have a chance to weaken their targets. This w applies to everyone, right? That is really good. So Lars, what do I do about you? Rift Mage. Okay, years spent studying the fate have given Solas the ability to manipulate its energies in unpredictable ways. He can pull matter from the Fade and even twist the Veil into a weapon to hamper his opponents. Holy crap, Solas! You recreate your own fist from the essence of the Fade. You summon a boulder from the Fade and smash it into your target. Sounds amazing. You use strain magic around weakened enemies to increase the power of status effects. You pull stray magic from around weakened enemies to regain mana. You summon flaming meteors. Get that? You catch stray magic around weakened enemies and use them to increase the damage of your own attacks. You create a tiny rift that pulls enemies towards the central point. Weakened enemies have the damage they inflict reduced even further. Sure. Get all of them. Cole has four points! Okay, he already has almost everything. Um, all of his own special abilities, I mean. Hidden Blaze now also damages enemies near the primary target. You use Hidden Blaze faster and more easily. And let's get that. And Mark of Death lasts even longer, but can no longer be manually triggered early for bonus damage. Mark of Death now does less damage when it expires, but much more if you detonate it early. Huh. What does Mark of Death do again? Every hit on them adds part of its power to the mark's damage. Trigger your mark when you are ready and watch them fall. Hmm. They can no longer be manually triggered early. So it will be triggered eventually, but you don't know when. Okay, I can take that. Now, Cole. How about your bow skills? Move faster while firing. Longshot now rips through every enemy along its path, deals even more damage at greater ranges. If leap and shot hits, you can use the momentum of your leap to do a stronger draw as you come back to your feet. After striking a target with leaping shot, you retreat safely into the shadows, disappearing into stealth. Oh, that I like. That also fits Cole. Alright. Can't believe I forgot to do that. How do I get down safely? Because I already managed to damage myself. Alright. Ah, what a peaceful little forest. Who said it was dangerous? Peace wood. Hey, is that a statue?
Who are they? The guardians of the forest? Oh! Red Lyrium! Oh, Templars. Oh, goodness! They can... They have long-ranged attacks. Oh, goodness! Whoa! Where's the enemy? Is that the enemy? No, that's Cassandra. No, that's Cole. Ah! Oh. Okay, you fight. I'll leave him to you. Alright. What is this building? This looks really fancy. Oh, that's on the other side, okay. We we were there already. We were on the other side, inside. Right, and we were wondering how to get out. Here we go, we are on the outside now. Hmm, not sure what they symbolize. Hey, a quest. Silver Falls. A dead body. Investigate the fatal fall. Maybe she was one of the owners, the former owners of the building, I don't know. More enemies. To Master Kells, the new client once doubled the Red Lurium shipped last time. The contact said it was for someone called Samson. I met him during the last trip, got a Templar feel of him, although the armor he wears doesn't look Chantry. Still, his coin's good and he doesn't preach, Toby. Another letter on the smugglers, referring to Samson. Oh, you fools. Okay, she fell off the cliff on the other side, I guess. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. No, we'll go there later. There are more statues, this time bigger. Andraste's Mercy. Elves were guilty of the greatest sin, of turning from the Maker. But we will show them mercy, for that is what Andraste teaches. From a sermon given by Sister Amity at the conclusion of the Exalted March of the Dales. Oh boy. How delusional can one get? I mean... It's their fault for attacking the elves in the first place, and they're just looking for excuses for why they did that in the name of the Chantry, and so on and so on.
Um, wasn't there supposed to be a quest here? Did I did I get whatever it was already? All right, let's let's find a fallen sister. Hold on, I just want to see if we missed anything. <sighs> okay. Wait. Oh, this is one of the inner circle quests. Okay. Oh, that was a smuggler letter, wasn't it? Okay. <laughs> I completely forgot about that. Elf root, finally. I need five more. Oh, what is that? Enemies. <clears throat> oh, goodness. Ouch. Freeman orders. Sir August is dead. If this continues, we'll lose everything we worked for. We must do something. Send all the men out, everyone who can fight. I'm heading to the Exalted Plains. There are still some Freemen hiding out there. We can regroup. Emery. <clears throat> Did we not <clears throat> kill everyone there? Viridium Mine. So yeah, I thought they didn't look like Red Templars. <clears throat> and they weren't, they are the Freemen. This is nice. Can I walk on this? <laughs> oh my god, I can. Careful. <gasps> oh my goodness. All right. Now, what do we have here? Just some weapons? Oh no, my inventory is full. Wow, I've got some weapons. Some useless weapons. Let's just destroy them. Oh my god, look how weak they are. Yeah, I get the feeling we're pretty overleveled for this map. <laughs> cool. No, that is no good. Completely useless.
March of the Everlasting. Alright, this should suffice for now. Whoa, 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 whoa. Mohanon, be careful. Whoa, what, what are you doing? Go back! <laughs> Go back! What are you doing? Stop it! <laughs> Go back! What are you doing? No! Yes, go back! Right now! Shoo! Don't, don't push! What are you doing? Um, can I... Can I, uh... Can I do something? Disengage? <laughs> oh my god, what do I do now? Hello? Ah! Ah! Shoot! Okay, I'm back. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Let's not talk about this again. Maybe it's time to read some codex entries. Go. We've read this. We searched, okay. Pride Demon. Red Templar Archers, we've read all of them. The Emerald Graves. Our people call this place the Emerald Graves. Long ago, before the fall of the Dales, a tree was planted for every warrior who pledged themselves to the guardianship of the Dales. Together, these warriors were the Emerald Knights of Halamshiro, and the forest of their trees was named the Emerald March. When the humans began encroaching once again on our borders, the Emerald Knights banded together to protect us from the incursion, but the humans were many and their chantry powerful, and they eventually conquered the Dales. The Knights fought in defense of our land and almost all perished. The trees that once represented a mighty army were now living symbols of sacrifice, the Emerald Graves. I hear that most humans in Olay do not call this place by its true name. They find it an inauspicious one and refer to the forest only as a great wood. They refuse to see anything but wood and moss and leaves and hope to remain ignorant of the blood that was spilt. But we of the people remember, we feel the weight of what was lost and we see not trees, but lives given for freedom. As told by Keeper Gisharel of the Ralafarin clan 